I'm Todd Baddock. I'm the uh, head of the accessory and performance uh, group for Mopar. Here to talk about the Mopar 17 Limited Edition Challenger. Uh, this vehicle we made specifically for the 80th anniversary of Mopar, which is in 2017. So we made 80 vehicles that are this blue and black combination. We also have another 80 vehicles that we've made that are silver and black. So the way the Mopar 17 starts out is it starts out as a Dodge Challenger Scat Pack Shaker. And when it comes off of the production line, we've uh, taken 80 of the blue cars and 80 of the silver cars. We take them to our facility, our Mopar Custom Shop, where we actually hand apply this, this paint job. So when it comes out, the car's all blue or all silver. Our guys actually hand mask, hand prep, hand paint uh, this new paint color on, and then they re-clear re coat the entire car. So what you're seeing here, this car is absolutely beautiful, stunning if you see it in person. Uh, there's been there's no trickery. There hasn't been any special prep done. This is how it's going to show up at our customers uh, doorstep So the vehicle comes with a 6.4 liter uh, 485 horsepower engine uh, Obviously, it's got the, uh, the shaker hood which is a Mopar design part that goes on all of our production cars 20 inch wheels a beautiful uh, leather and suede interior that's been accented with special Mopar touches uh, a couple of the things we've added to the vehicle other than just the paint. Uh, if you look inside the headlight, you've got uh, uh, what we call the air catcher. So it's a special piece that uh, brings air directly from the headlight into the cold air intake of the vehicle. Uh, under the hood, we've added strut tower braces, which, uh, which, we, which really helps tighten and stiffen up the front of the, uh, the vehicle for crisper handling. We also have our 80th anniversary, our special commemorative plaque. Uh, individually numbered for each vehicle. So when you open your hood, you're showing it off at a car show. Everybody knows uh, what number you have. And going around to the back of the vehicle, we've added the uh, Hellcat uh, exhaust tips in black, as well as the Mopar design badge. So as you're pulling away from people at a stoplight, they know uh, exactly what it is. It just uh, left them in the dust. So one of the other things is uh, the, the owners of these Mopar limited edition cars. We've been doing them since 2010 uh, every year. It's a very exclusive club. We don't make many of these. And a way to help commemorate the purchase and the unique nature of the vehicle that you're, that you're getting. Uh, each one comes with a personalized owner's kit uh, for each vehicle. And uh, it includes a birth certificate and includes some other, um, and other pieces of memorabilia that you can use to, to remember your purchase. And it's all individually numbered to uh, your specific VIN and your specific uh, vehicle number. Mopar obviously has a significant uh, amount of accessories and performance parts available for the Challenger. So there's parts that you can put even on this vehicle. We have lowering kits. Uh, we have other uh, pieces for either uh, for either continuing to personalize or increase the horsepower of your vehicle. And whether you have a Mopar 17 or not, uh, any uh, member of the Dodge family has got a lot of uh, performance parts, cold air intakes, exhaust systems that you can purchase and put on, lowering kits, uh, to things as, as simple as upgraded floor mats uh, and, uh, or exterior graphics. We have a lot of a very significant size portfolio for the Dodge family of vehicles. So uh, Mopar.com or go visit your Dodge dealer. They should have all the information you need. We announced this vehicle at the Chicago Auto Show this year. Uh, we've already started production, and uh, some of them are start they've already started to show up at dealerships. You're gonna ha have to act quickly because with only 80 of each color, uh, they've the, a lot of them have already been spoken for. So uh, speak with your local Dodge dealer, find out if they've got allocation for one of these. Uh, you can also go to Mopar.com and find out more information.